Hi girls and boys, today I'm going to read a story to you by Pamela Allen called Who Sank the Boat? And I'm dressed as the little mouse, except the only thing I'm missing is some little ears. But anyway, let's go. Who Sank the Boat? This is one of my favourite books. So here we have the boat, the jetty and the house. Beside the sea, on Mr. Peffer's place, there lived a cow, a donkey, a sheep, a pig, and a tiny little mouse. They were good friends, and one warm sunny morning, for no particular reason, they decided to go for a row in the bay. Do you know who sank the boat? Was it the cow who almost fell in when she tilted the boat and made such a din? Oh, there she goes. No, it wasn't the cow who almost fell in. Do you know who sank the boat? Was it the donkey who balanced her weight, who yelled? I'll get in at the bow before it's too late. There she is, trying to get in at the top of the boat. No, it wasn't the donkey who balanced her weight. Do you know who sank the boat? Was it the pig, as fat as butter, who stepped in at the side and caused... A great flutter. Oh goodness, look at the boat. Oh dear. There's a lot of weight in that boat. No, it wasn't the pig as fat as butter. Do you know who sank the boat? Oh goodness, look at them in the boat. It's very squished in there. Was it the sheep who knew where to sit to level the boat so that she could knit. In she comes. No, it wasn't the sheep who knew where to sit. Do you know who sank the boat? There you are. The sheep's knitting. Was it the little mouse, the last to get in? Who was lightest of all? Could it be him? Uh-oh, here he goes. He's jumped in. wonder what's going to happen now. You do know who sank the boat. Uh-oh. Have a look where all the animals are. We've got the pig, the cow, the sheep, the donkey, the mouse. And all they go back up the paddock. Should I say back up the beach to the house? And there's the little mouse running behind. Okay, so have a look at this very last page. You can see that there's the boat, it's sunk, and there's the oar, and there's the umbrella, and they've all made their way back up here to the house. So that's a story about who sank the boat. So was all to do with weight and how much weight could go in the boat. So we, I have a little activity planned for you now on Seesaw that you need to go in and you need to make a boat, whether you make it out of tin foil or something that I've listed. And then you're going to get some coins and you're going to see how many coins you can put in your boat before it starts to sink. So you're going to think about the boat, how you can make it best, and you're going to work out how many coins you can get in there and make sure that it holds a lot. So then when you've done that, you can upload it to Seesaw for your teacher to see. You might like to even video it when you're putting in your coins so that we can see how it works, okay? We might share some with the class. So thank you for listening to the story today.
I hope you enjoyed it and now I hope you enjoy making your boat and looking at how much it holds. Okay, have a great afternoon. Enjoy making it and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.